we're all on a budget, so it's reasonable to ask, can we save money by shooting outside? After all, wouldn't it be simpler without all of those lights? Well, stick around. That's the question for episode 56 of Video Answers. So you're wondering if shooting your video outside can save you money. Before we can answer that question, there's another question we need to ask. What kind of content do you want to shoot outside? Is it B-roll or narrative? If you need to shoot B-roll outside, then with some caveats, it's probably not a big deal. But if you need to shoot a narrative, then there are two potential problems you'll face when shooting outside and they are lighting and sound. <laughs> yeah, I know that pretty much covers everything. Well, we'll talk about sound in part two of this series. So for now, let's focus our attention on the lighting challenges of shooting outside. Now, in order to understand those challenges, we need to understand the three characteristics of outdoor lighting. Shifting brightness. Natural light ranges from direct sun to overcast to shade, each of which is very different in its brightness and can radically shift without notice. Moving angles. From the time the sun rises to the moment it disappears over the horizon, it's constantly in motion, and that means the angles of the sun and the shadows it casts are constantly moving. Changing color. As the sun moves across the horizon, the color temperature of its light also changes. It's these three characteristics of outdoor lighting that make shooting a video with natural light unpredictable and inconsistent. Why is that such a big deal? Well, a narrative film is usually shot with a single camera. The same scene is shot from different angles or setups and at different times. Then, when the film is edited, all of those different angles are put together into a single storyline. The way that works is all the wide shots for a scene are filmed first, followed by medium or close-up shots. But if the brightness and angle or color temperature of the outdoor lighting is different from shot to shot, you'll see it, be distracted by it, and start thinking about what's wrong and not the story. The good news is, there are ways to address all of these outdoor lighting challenges. The bad news, it usually requires more planning, more crew, more equipment, more time, and yes, more money. While we don't always notice it, outdoor lighting is not consistent. It is organic and as such, constantly changing. So the short answer is no. You usually can't save money by shooting outside. Now, if you have questions about shooting your video outside, send me an email to answers at comprehensivemedia.com and ask away. For more video production insights and help, subscribe at comprehensivemedia.com forward slash video answers. Thanks for watching Video Answers, the resource with video production help for your business.